Hey everybody, so nice to see you back on my channel. Um, it's been a bit of a while to say the least and um, yeah, an update for you all from here in the Philippines. So um, it's been a rough old time and as some of you may already know, I kind of got stuck in the Philippines after this pandemic nightmare um, and um, really ended up making the Philippines my home by accident. <laughs> Um, and since then, I have sadly succumbed to COVID five times in three years. Um, and in addition with all the other stress of what was going on when I came out here to the Philippines, um, have recently, last week, finally received um, a diagnosis of blood tests showing that I've got chronic kidney disease, which, um, yeah, is, it's kind of, I don't know really what to make of it at the moment, but I do know that my lifestyle has to change. And, um, you know, I've been coaching very long hours in the Philippines. I, I coach online. I'm a professional business coach. So I coach people looking to change career, public confidence speaking, presentation skills. But, you know, it's had me literally sat at a laptop, staring at the laptop screen for 13, 14 hours a day at one point um for seven days a week and it was just sort of i guess all of that has pretty much broken me um so my health has to come as number one priority now um not feeling a very well boy but um my plan is not to be beaten um anybody who knows me in person knows that i'm the sort of guy who still tries even when everything's falling off him um so my thoughts are to try and build this channel, uh, build this channel up um, and get in some physical activity as well by doing that. And hopefully, maybe I can make this channel my medicine, right? Uh, my way to improve my health. Um, that's the idea anyway. Um, and to basically show you all parts of the Philippines that I'm going to try and get myself around on very limited budget and obviously my physical health is the biggest problem um it's not good just even trying to come down to where i am today has pretty much wiped me out but i just won't be beaten so anyway yes i figured i'd give you a little bit of a tour um of where i am here um and hopefully you can hear some of the nice natural sounds and let's see if walking and vlogging and trying to recommend places that you all might want to come and see in the Philippines or if you can't come um, maybe you just want to enjoy um, some information about the Philippines or living in a tropical country or seeing the flora and fauna and the noisy tricycles and jeepneys and traffic unfortunately too um, but that's the plan anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a little bit of a stroll in a second um, around this area where I'm at at the moment and um, let's see what we can discover together okay so we're on the move um, and basically the Philippines is a tropical country um, as many of you may or may not know I'm sure most of you are aware of that fact but maybe not um, so we've got some very interesting plants and trees. I'm going to try and turn this around. Remember, guys, I'm not really an expert vlogger here. I'm experimenting. So, as you can see, we've got quite a variety of trees and shrubs. And what I love is actually the bamboo. Um, the bamboo, um, this one is what we call, let's have a look, Dita. Okay, so this one is a Dita tree, apparently. Um, and it's a natural canopy from the sun. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, this one, look at the bamboo. Now that is what I call bamboo, right? <laughs> it's kind of, but the thing is, is that there's different types of bamboo. Um, many different types. So look over here, we'll go over here. Let's have a look at this. Now this is a different type of bamboo. As I've said to you guys, I have no clue what the different names of these are. So I've got to fix this, right? If I'm going to start giving you tours, I've got to be able to know. But that stuff is totally different again, right? Um, this, I have no idea what this is. Look at this. Wow. It's pretty cool, right? It's kind of like 
I don't know. I don't even know how that works, but it's pretty clever. I gotta say that Mother Nature is really cool. And then this one here is a different color again. This is like a yellow bamboo. So, yeah, it's kind of, well, it's all different types of bamboo, right? So yeah, so there's many different types of bamboo here. And um, so trees are quite diverse. I've never, well, I mean, in the UK, um, I mean, I used to, be very interested in gardens and stuff there but again you know you just look at some of the, the trunks and the bark on these things they're just totally totally different to what you would imagine um and yeah the, in the uk there used to be a variety of i suppose different plants and trees but i've i don't know whether i've seen quite a diversity as i have here um it's kind of interesting and then you've got like reeds and rushes and things like that, which is different again, like this. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's it's like I say, you can just be probably fascinated. I mean, if you look at the, the bark on this thing, I mean, look, it's kind of spiky. I'm not even going to touch that. But again, I have no idea um, what particular type of tree that is. So I've got to try and find these things out, but um, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd kind of bring you on a bit of a brief tour of the diversity that we can have. And if you look at some of this bamboo, boy, it goes very high, right? The good thing about bamboo, when I uh, was in um, another apartment in the height of the pandemic, is it, it bends. It's really flexible, which is exactly what you need when you live in a country, which is the Philippines, and it lives on the ring of fire. We get so many typhoons, it's unbelievable. I think I've survived about five since being here. Um, some of them are pretty hair-raising, to say the least. That's kind of pretty. It's got, like, yellow flowers on it. Um, but, yeah, I have managed to survive five typhoons, a volcanic eruption to howl, earthquakes, um, floods. So, yeah. You know, bamboo, it's really resilient. And I guess if there was a plant that could represent the Filipino people, I gotta say it has to be bamboo because it's kind of fights back. And I love the Filipino people. I have to say, really grateful to the Filipino people for giving me a home because they have. Um, Bougainvillea, uh, not perhaps the most healthiest of specimens, but it's still here, it's still growing. And um, that's pretty there. Right. So in the Canary Islands, um, in fact, I wish I'd have vlogged in the Canary Islands, but I, I didn't, well, it didn't really occur to me that that actually would be of interest to people, bizarrely enough. Um, anyway, yeah, so um, we're kind of, uh, as you can see, we're having a bit of a walk along here. Um, and you can see the diversity of the plants and... I mean, it's pretty impressive um, how Mother Nature designs all these different plants and trees. Um, I guess they all have different purposes, but most of the trees here are for shade. They have adapted and evolved, like the acacia trees, to give fantastic amounts of wide, wide boughs on those trees, you see, and yeah, it provides the great shade that we need because trust me, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hot in the Philippines. It's, um, with us being so near to the equator, um, bear with me a minute, getting out of breath here. This is another problem with uh, what I think is long COVID. You just, it's very hard sometimes to fill your lungs fully. Um, uh, it's a challenge. So yeah, um, being being so near to the equator, um, it, yeah, we are kind of getting fried alive. So you don't really want to be coming out walking in the midday sun if you can help it, although sometimes you have no choice. But even with factor 100, <laughs> yeah, British boy here gets burned. Um, actually, that's not a bad name, is it, for this channel? If you call it British boy explores or something, I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, so, um, yeah. This is 
a bit of a brief walk around. It's about five o'clock or thereabouts on an evening here. Oh, another thing to show you. Now you're going to love this. Ant hills. Okay, so you see these. I am definitely not attempting to put my hand in there, but that is a wonderful ant hill, or so I'm told. So, yeah, the ants here are pretty, um, pretty mutant. <laughs> um, I once lent against a tree my first tropical storm here in the Philippines and it was thunder and lightning and I just thought well you know I'm just gonna get under one of these canopies for a bit escape the downpour and I got eaten alive by ants and they're big they're like dogs they're like the size of your fingertip they are big right if anybody's seen them you know what I'm talking about look at this tree now I love this tree I don't know what it's look look at the bark on this it's kind of it's really smooth and I have never it's like a camouflage tree. It looks like an army, right? An army tree. It honestly looks like somebody's painted it, right? But, you know, God's honest truth, that is actually a real yeah, bit of tree, look. So, I love, I love the diversity here, just what you can see. And this is actually the first time that I've come out and actually walked around and tried to look at the plants because... For the first three years of being here, pretty much I've been living <laughs> in trauma, I think, honestly. Um, what I've gone through here in the Philippines, I, I won't wish on anybody ever. And, um, yeah, so I'm now starting to open my eyes up a little bit. And I think because I'm being forced to change what I'm doing because of my health, um, yeah, I'm starting to... Just today, I just thought... I just spotted the flowers when I came down to sit and think what I'm going to do and thought I'll start to vlog this. I'll start to perhaps take some photos and see if anybody's interested. So more bog and beer. Um, in the Canary Islands this kind of grows and, and drapes down so I don't know if that's I don't know if it's meant to do that or not. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I'm no botanist. Um, I love these as well. These we also had in the Canary Islands. Um, so it kind of reminds me of my home because I, I see the Canary Islands as my home. It's where my heart's at. Um, but the Philippines has been my kind of lockdown home. And as I said earlier, I'm really grateful, highly grateful um, to the Philippines and the Filipino people for giving me a place to be because I had nowhere else to go um, and I've just got to now try and sort my health out so that I can feel slightly better about living my life I guess right like all of us but um, anyway I, I hope this has given you a rough idea of some wonderful things to see in the Philippines and um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next, to be honest. Um, there's probably loads more that I can show you and get around. But this was just a bit of a, I suppose, a test, a case in point. Um, you know, I can probably show you some, not just natural stuff, but malls as well, and walks around, tourist places. Um, if I get myself down there, then... The problem for me is the pollution because my lungs don't like pollution and I don't have any other transport other than my feet called Shanks's Pony. To those of you who know British idioms, that's a good one. Um, it means you walk everywhere. Um, tricycles, not so good for me with my lungs. But uh, anyway, we shall see. That's a whole other conversation, right? Right now, I just wanted to just record this and let you hear some of the noises and sounds from an evening in the Philippines. Um, yeah, it's been a lovely overcast day today, I have to say. So, yeah, it's been a good one. I'll see you soon.